Ah, uh, come on, bro. 22. Come on, you can do it, bro. You can do it. Yo, look at my scooter. It's really, really dirty. Like, very dirty. Like, it hasn't been washed. But it recently had a full service two days ago. Full for the first time ever. Like, we actually changed everything. It's tip top ton condition, it's back to full working order. It wasn't doing very well, if I'm honest. I, uh, I was having trouble, <laughs> it was very slow um, and it wasn't very fuel efficient. So, I hope we've solved those two issues. The speed acceleration was horrible. I was planted on the road at 20 kilometers an hour on any uphill. It was super, super duper, very, very, very slow. So now it's, it should be fine. I've ridden it a, a little bit today and it's, it's cool. It feels fast. What's the top speed of a TVS Wego? According to Wikipedia, Eagle is the common name no! for many large birds and oh prey in the family Accipitridae. Okay. What is the top speed of a TVS Wego? 81.22 kmph. Oh! <laughs> According to Mike Deco, TVS Yo, I genuinely didn't know that. Okay, hold on. kmph. <laughs> it's 81 kilometers an hour. That's the top speed. Also, it cost 54,000 rupees. If a rupee is like 1.2 shillings, that means this bike in India is like, I don't know, 70 Gs. That's very, 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 very unfortunate because it's about double that price in Kenya. <laughs> oh no, wow. Anyway, it's fine. We bought it for utility we had no choice but to buy it so that's why we bought it so even if we paid so much money for it it's still worth it um we're waiting for toyota dude to finish putting air in his tires because i want to put air in my tires as well and then ride it kidogo there's a place i want to go test its power an uphill place in um riverside drive um, I want to test if it has the power back. It feels like it does just from riding it around Kidogo today. I'm actually pretty excited because it means that the fuel efficiency is, is going to be pretty good now. Bro, see you finish. See you finish. I hope he's not doing all four tires. I hope he's not doing all four. Just do that one tire, bro. Please just do one tire. Please. Please. Just one tire. Please, we're praying. Please just be a one tire dude, please. <laughs> Don't do all four tires, bro. <sighs> Maybe I should go to the other Olivia in Westlands. But also I'm not in a hurry, so I don't mind. Boy, yeah. are you a real man if you can't put air in your tires? <laughs> Does that mean? That's kind of mean. Also, we're so many people waiting to put air. What the hell? There's me versus Pajero dude versus Mercedes-Benz dude behind Toyota dude. Oh, it's Mercedes-Benz lady behind Toyota dude. Sour. Also, maybe the hardware is just not working. Clearly. I'm just gonna go. Guys, let's go. Too bad. Too bad. Hey. Okay. Sorry. Wow. That was almost an accident. Okay, guys. So now we're on the road. It feels pretty good. So let me tell you what we did because there's so much stuff that we did. So, first, oil. We changed the oil. That's pretty normal. But I hadn't changed it in a while, like a really long time. So, we changed the oil. We put. Um, it only takes 750 ml, which is such a weird amount of oil to take, but yeah, so we put in the oil 
Then um, the manual said there's something else called transmission fluid. Aki, we looked, we looked for transmission fluid, but we couldn't find it. So if anyone knows where transmission fluid is in the in the TVS we go, please let me know because. I, Aki, I looked. The manual says it's somewhere, but uh, I, I, I didn't see any, um, any opening for that. And then, after that, we did the spark plug. So the spark plug that I was using, I mean, I know that you can clean them apparently, but it was so black and it just looked so old and rusted. I put in a new one. And then... Um, the, the, it doesn't have different filters, it uses the same filter for oil. So we cleaned that, put it back in, good, done. Then we did the oil, the air filter. Air filter, bro, in this bike, first of all, it's so far away. It's like Chinia, the seat, you have to chuck the seat. It's such a mess to get to the air filter. But we did, cleaned it for the first time since I bought this bike, if I'm honest. So it was very dirty. We used compressed air to like remove all the dirt, all the all the dust and stuff. Um, then we adjusted the brakes, and so now they're really good. Like they were really horrible before, because I'd never really adjusted them, and now they are so good. They're so good, and my handbrake works. You know, it has a handbrake on the left hand side. There's like this thing that that you pull. Um, so that's awesome. Now this bike is fantastic. Um, and the only thing I need to check, test, is its power, but I can already feel that it's a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more powerful than it was. Yes, I saw you, bro. This place is very dangerous. It feels very powerful. Oh yeah, yeah, dead dog. It feels very powerful. So that's excellent. So, I guess we'll check. But first, before we go, Uko, I actually want to buy pizza from Naivas because Naivas pizza is the bomb. Oh my gosh, Naivas, your pizza is amazing. It's so fantastic. So, so fantastic. It's so amazing. So very amazing. I really like pizza. It's not like my favorite food, but I like that it is um, a complete meal by itself. I don't know if you guys... <laughs> I don't like I don't like things that are separate, especially when I'm in a hurry. Pizza is excellent because you just eat it on its own and it's good. Unlike a burger where you have fries on the side and then the burger just falls apart as you're eating it, or like making food where you have rice and stew what. So pizza is like legit, like on its own, it's a meal. Even mokimo. Mokimo and pizza, you might think these two things are very different. But they are actually very similar. Even Mokimo on its own, without anything else, is a meal. And it's excellent. I love it so much. It's so cool. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. Jeez, this, this, this video was supposed to be about this bike and how good it feels now. <laughs> okay, let's go get pizza, guys. The best pizza in Nairobi is Hawaiian pizza from... Um, from here. That was a waste of time. Wow, Naivas. Anyway, let's go test this bike. Let's see how it's doing. Let's see how it's 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 how it how its power is. If it's got its power back. Oh, you know what? You know what I was, I was, so this, this week, BMW launched their, yeah, like BMW, BMW launched their, their, or, or rather their local franchise had an event to launch the, to launch the bikes in Kenya. So I watched the event live and it was cool, man. It was cool. You can see the BMW dealership, BMW Nairobi. So now they have BMW bikes in there, which is so cool. It's very, it's very, it's like, wow, Kenya, man. Good job, because previously to get a BMW, you had to import it yourself, go through all the, the red tape and bureaucracy 
to finally get your bike into the country. It was such a mess. But now they've launched their, their BMW dealership in Nairobi. <laughs> but they were so, they were so guarded. The, the prices were so closely guarded because they know, they know that the list prices that they're getting from the manufacturer in Germany, as soon as it lands in this country, as soon as it touches down in Mombasa, it doubles. So if you're buying a, a, a BMW for 16,000 euros, when it comes to Nairobi, <laughs> just budget 32,000 euros, which is about 4 million shillings for a BMW. And then at that price, man, you have to kind of ask yourself, I mean, I don't know, bro. Are you okay with spending that much money on a bike? I don't know, bro. Ah, oh, shucks, I've taken a wrong turn. No! I'm supposed to be going down to Riverside. Ah! I'm gonna have to turn over here. Is this an illegal turn? I hope not, but also we'll find out. Anyway, BMWs are really expensive. Me, I'm not at that point in my life where I feel like it's okay to spend that much money on a bike. To buy it new, jeez, man. I'm very interested to see how much they'll actually, how much they'll actually, um, they'll actually sell because those prices are a little bit ridiculous if I'm honest but you know if you compare it with car guys people buy new cars in this country yeah it's not like far-fetched for someone to buy a new car so why wouldn't they buy new bikes so I guess we'll see I guess you're gonna see a bunch of BMWs on the road these days coming in the coming days do I want one? I do. Do I have the money for one? I do not. <laughs> if I had the money for one, would I buy it? Probably not. I'd wait for a secondhand one and then buy it secondhand. There's no way I'd buy a new BMW, bro. No thanks, bro. I'm good, bro. <laughs> it's too much money. Yanni, they didn't even say prices. They didn't even quote the whole event. I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah, because it was pretty long. It was from like 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So like three hours, but I didn't watch the whole thing. But at no point at all in that entire thing did they mention prices. But anyway, it's cool. I aspire to be one of those BMW guys. It's just that I, I cannot justify spending that much money on a motorcycle just because of Kenyan taxes. It's not even their fault. It's the fault of the Kenyan system of vehicle ownership. When I was in high school, we used to come here for exercise. So we'd run from school, cause school is just up the road. We'd run from school and come here. Oh, was it here? I think it was here. Yeah, here it is. So this road is steep as hell. It's probably like, I don't know, 40 degrees. It's pretty steep. Although it looks a bit unfamiliar. It might not be this one. But at the same time, let's just test to see if the Wigo can actually do uphill here. The goal is to beat 20 kilometers an hour on an uphill because it was unable to do that. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, 20. Easy, 21. Ah, come on, bro, 22. Come on, you can do it, bro. You can do it. Ah, it's still at like 22. And I'm full, full on the throttle. Ah, oh, man. That's disappointing. That's disappointing, you guy. I was hoping it would like go crazy with the power, but 20 kilometers an hour is pretty bad. Okay, let me try another one. Is it here? No. Where's the other? I think it's here. So we used, I was telling you in high school, we used to come here for running training. Um, and we'd run, ah, it's not this one. This place is, this is not, this is not it. <laughs> Boy, this is not it at all. I think that was it. I think that was it. Um, okay, let's see. 20, let's go. Okay, this one is, but you see the incline is, I'm hitting about 25. The incline is not as steep as the 
the other one so it's doing better man that's disappointing you guys you know we've changed everything we've serviced this thing like nobody's business ah uh, I, was, I was really hoping it was faster ah uh, that's disappointing i'm so disappointed then what's going on with this bike is it genuinely just really slow because i was starting to think man there's no way this bike can be as slow as it is but it seems as though it actually is it's dawning on me after two years two and a half years of ownership <laughs> that my scooter is actually just really 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 slow ah man anyway i was telling the story of 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 training yeah so we used to go to that the first road that i went to and we just run up and down we do suicides suicides are where you run a quarter of the way then go back down then you run halfway go back down then you run you run three quarters of the way up then go back down and then you run all the way up and run back down oh, man that was the time in my life when i was the most fit but at the same time i had no idea what fitness was because i was just a kid and i'd been running around playing basketball my whole life i didn't really have to like it wasn't a lot of effort like training was actually really fun but now if you ask me to do <laughs> to do any of that training you guy hey no way it's not going to happen it's not gonna happen anyway i think that's it for the video guys um 